I'm going to let the item printer for the Indigo Disc DLC choose my shiny hunts. I'm going to roll until I get a Pokeball Lotto and then I'm going to color match the shinies to the balls that it gives us. There's no guarantee you'll get rare balls from the Lotto, but we were lucky enough to get three from this roll. We'll lump the heal balls together, so we're going to have nine targets in total. Let's go. I decided to start with the sport ball. When I was a kid, I played a lot of Gen 2, but I don't ever remember winning the bug catching contest. No matter what Pokemon I caught, bug catcher Benny would always show up with a monster of a Butterfree and not only take my trophy, but my pride and my lunch money as well. But not today, Benny. There are a lot of Pokemon that are in Generation 2's National Park, but only two of them exist in the Blueberry Academy, Venonat and Scyther. Luckily for us though, both of them spawn with a bug sandwich. But if I wanted to declare myself the best bug catcher, Venonat simply wasn't gonna cut it. Scyther might though, what with its scythe arms and everything. Yeah. I love that we can just check the eye. Wait, is oh my god. A shiny Scyther. Oh my god, where'd it go? Come back! Oh my god, wait! Buddy! Buddy, come here! Let's go! Shiny Scyther! Sleep is allowed? Oh, so true. Let's do that. What a truly great shiny. Cat. If you spam the B button, you never fail. Let's go! I asked Twitch chat for ideas on what to hunt for each ball. You should totally stop by the chat sometime, by the way. And for the heal ball, they said I should either go for Esper or Minchino. I think the pink matches Esper really well, but I couldn't argue with the yellow inside the ears of Minchino being the better match. Things got off to a flying start when I arrived into the ice biome, and after taking just a few steps, I accidentally stumbled into a shiny seal before I was even able to make a sandwich. And then after I did make a normal encounter power sandwich, I managed to find my favorite shiny ever. Absolutely no bias towards the distortion shiny I found in my PLA decks, not at all. And then as time was running out on the sandwich, we even managed to find the pink rodent that Juniper shows you in Gen 5 if you were lucky. Unlucky? I don't know. Three shinies in 30 minutes ain't bad and that color match is complete. People had a lot of suggestions for this one. Venomoth, Blitzel, Comfey, Numel, Porygon 2, Sui and Quill, Fish. Porygon Z, Overquill, Braviary, Chinchow, Lantern, Rhianiclus, Zangoose, Snubble, Tyrogue, Alolan Sandshrew, Alolan Sandslash, Abomasnow, Duraludon, Oshawa, but they were all wrong. It's gotta be Piplup. I love this little guy, and after I very impolitely did not recognize shiny Piplup in Pokemon Legends Arceus, I'd be so happy if we got a shiny Piplup. I think it's very unlikely because the amount of Piplups you can spawn is already just very low, right? I think you get a maximum of three by this water up here. Um, so I'm not holding any hope. Okay, so two of our spawns are not Piplups. One of them is, but it is not shiny. Uh, I lied to you. Oh my god, what? I had to make it up to the penguin by catching one as part of this challenge. It wasn't as easy as I was hoping though. A lot of water outbreaks in the ice biome lead to a lot of lag. I was able to find one far enough inland, swoop it up and get our next color match. Pokeballs are iconic, but they kind of suck for color matching, unless it's a regular non-shiny Voltorb. The initial concept was to try and catch a shiny starter, seeing as starter Pokemon are usually only available shiny through the Masuda method and in Pokeballs. But that felt anticlimactic. Instead, we settled on Cranidos. All we have to do is head to the nature preserve and make a rock encounter power sandwich and we're good to go. Wait, these aren't the right fossils. Now we can go looking for Cranidos. Now we know if you ever need a message scene, you can just pin it briefly and then unpin it after I've seen it. Good to know. Yeah, how you doing, Zarya? Welcome. Oh, no shot. What? Oh my god. Well, we're greeting Zarya. This is going to have to be called Zarya. Let's go. Oh my God. Keep going. Spam the B buttons. Does anyone know the catch rate for Cranidos? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Let's go. Doduo, the perfect Pokemon for the nest ball. 
The only issue is Duduo has two forms, one with a black neck and one with a brown neck, and the brown neck is definitely the better choice. After a couple of failed attempts to find the right Doduo, I took a little break and continued doing a different challenge, my Living Shiny Dex. Because I'm doing a Living Shiny Dex, I actually caught a second Cranidocilia and evolved it into a Rampardo, so I wanted to catch the rest of the fossils. I caught two shield on, and I've gotta say, after seeing one of them shiny, I am convinced I must have missed 20 while I've been looking for them in the past. But why am I talking about shield on? Why am I going off on this tangent? Well, when I finished catching the second shield on, I still had 15 minutes left on my sparkle power rock sandwich, with just one rock Pokemon left to catch in the deck. Oh my god. <laughs> Never mind. I, I was like, I bet the second I zoom in, that's going to happen. It did. <laughs> Cleeball, let's go. Oh my God. We got a shiny Cleaver. Amazing. Looks so good in this game. Oh my God. The nest ball, on the other hand. It is a very nest ball Pokemon. We could do it instead of Doduo. Considering this is the only way to get it. Yeah, I think it does make it a very cool one to have. So let's go. Spam your B buttons, chat. Oh, sick. Let's go. Let's go. I might not have meant to do it, but I found, in my opinion, an even better match for the nest ball, and I don't need to find the right do duo after all. There's a few choices that I think make sense for a luxury ball. Magnemite, Alolan Golem. Minior, they all have a decent shout because they have the right color scheme, but they don't quite fit the black and red vibe that I'm looking for. Then you have Haxorus, Greninja, both of which are also great shinies and have the black and red color that we're thinking of, but to put it simply, they're just not Charizard. Okay, this one is me being a little bit lazy too, because Charmander is incredibly easy to hunt with the tunnel method. Let me explain. It's not finding shiny Pokemon getting you down. Are your culinary skills mocked as you waste your herbs with no results? Look no further than the shiny bridge. For just two Herba Mystica, you can make your shiny woes disappear. Just reset the spawns using the tunnel every 15 seconds, and by Jove, I think he's got it. He really increased his shiny odds by using the product that should be in every household, the shiny bridge. Chances for shiny Pokemon are not increased. Results may vary. Okay, look, shiny Charizard might still be the best Pokemon for this ball, but... But me, I just missed the purple and green Charizard from Pokemon Crystal. Speaking of Generation 2, Generation 2 is ridiculous. You've probably heard of the Moonball glitch, where instead of increasing catch rate with Pokemon that evolve via a Moonstone, the ball instead increases the catch rate for Pokemon that evolve via a Burn Heal. But did you know the Fastball also has a glitch? The Fastball glitch means that the Pokeball is only effective against Magnemite, Grimer, and Tangela, two of which just so happen to spawn in the Blueberry Academy. What a fun nod back to the way the ball worked when it was originally introduced, right? Wrong! Chat hated it! Rotom is the right color and has lightning bolt arms! That's all chat cares about! Shiny Rotom! Let's go! Come here, buddy! I think it's great, but I kind of wish we went for Magnemite or Grimer. What would you have done? Let me know in the comments. Premier Ball is Litten. We're gonna catch a Litten. I... I don't really feel like I need to explain this one. I... It's Litten. Cool. The Friend Ball is a lot of people's favorite Pokeball, so I don't want to get this one wrong. There's also a good amount of options to color match the ball to a shiny. The overwhelming majority for this one picked Electros, which is a great choice, but there's a couple of problems with it. First of all, during my living shiny deck so far, I've caught not one, but three of the green eels already, and I'm honestly kind of sick of seeing them at this point. Second of all, I didn't only do a living shiny decks for the second DLC, I also did one in Paldea and Kitakami, and that is too many Dynamo. I spent hours looking for the eel with no luck, but luckily for me, a vile plume outbreak was on the map from my last living shiny dex hunt. So I caught an oddish. It's not vile plume, but it's the same. It works. I like it. I think it matches. And with that, the challenge is finished. Would you have caught any different Pokemon? Make sure to like and subscribe and check out more videos in the series.